Okay, fast five. Second one, working with purpose. Man, I like this one. This is one of my favorites. I'll it's, be honest. It's, it's a big like, one for me. It's a, it's a huge one for me as well. Have you got the timer on? Not yet. Okay, put the timer on. But anyway, I'm going to start because I know we've been 30 seconds in. But working with purpose, and I'll give you, the, I'll give you an example. I'm going to give you examples of this week. Oh, fuck, I'm ringing Clayton. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just to give you a rundown on this week, um, I got back into videos and I decided that morning, I spoke to my niece who's a, a videographer, I said, we're doing a video, it's for the Muscle Tribe, I'm going to do it with you, Shani. Five minutes before the video, Shani said, I can't do it, I'm too busy. So well, I was on my own. And then I seen Jazz at the, on the gym floor, I said, mate, we're going up, we're shooting right now, we're going to do this for the Muscle Tribe, we're going to pick four exercises for back, two for biceps, we're going to do um, you know, uh, 12 to 16 sets on back and six sets on biceps. We got in there, I gave it absolutely everything. The reason I gave everything was because I was working on purpose. And when you work on purpose, you can do things when you're not ready. Because most of the time in life, you're not gonna be ready. And we went up there and we absolutely kicked ass. Can I be better than that? 100%. But is that my new standard that I'm gonna be? Definitely. And that's what, li that's what living with purpose is, or working with purpose is, is getting out there, taking action, no matter what, no matter whether you're ready or not, and, and what you'll notice is every time you do that, you just get better and better. And it, it builds like these calluses of going, I'm not going backwards. I'm going to keep going forward. And it's probably not going to be my best. But you know what? I'm never going to quit. I'm just going to get better at this. And, and you know, that, and I, I like giving examples of what happens each week because I do this every day. And I, I want you guys to learn from that. And, and that, was, that was a big one for me this week. Share with me the little example that you were saying just before we start on here about uh, your favorite cool maker. Quentin Tarantino, um, he, I was watching a, a YouTube clip of him and he, he was getting interviewed and he goes, man, I was working my butt off for eight years and getting nowhere. He was busting his guts for eight years trying to produce films that were absolutely average and when you look back at him, he goes, they weren't good. And he goes, I thought they were good. He goes, they were shit. But eight years busting your guts off, getting nothing out of it, and not quitting because you know your purpose. And it's exactly what we're doing here with these podcasts, with our videos. We may not be the best yet, but we're definitely striving forward to become the best and give you guys as much value as we can. And I think purpose is a big thing. But I also want to mention, we've already done a fair bit. You know, I mean, you work for a big brand, HP Labs. I've been in the business for 20 years. This isn't something that's just been hashed out through no experience and just starting a podcast. We've actually gone through a lot before we've even got yeah, here. So. And we still are, that's, that's what I want to be sharing things in yeah. real time as we're learning, we're, we're not preaching, we're just sharing what, exactly what we're doing. There's a big difference, I think, uh, personally between, and we better hurry up because we're running out of time, but there's a big difference between being busy and being uh, purposeful or executing something successfully. And that's what I want you guys to ask yourself. If, if you go and ask anyone, ask your friends, ask your family, ask the person next to you right now, did you train today? Did you push this forward? Are you doing the things you want to do? Common answer. I'm a bit busy, ran out of time, wasn't able to do it. That's fine, we're all busy. Accept that you're busy and move on. Identify what you want to do and be purposeful about going out and achieving it. Um, you can spend as much time as you want. There's bad days for me, there's bad weeks for me where I'm busy, there's people that we're accountable to, there's people that we have to manage, there's different tasks that need to happen. But when you get too busy, sometimes you forget about pushing forward the things that actually need to happen and that are a priority to get done. Accept that you're busy, identify what you need to do and be purposeful in doing it. Sometimes you've got to pull yourself out of being busy and focus on one thing at a time to make sure that it gets done. Otherwise, you'll find that you're doing little bits and pieces of everything, but you're not going anywhere. You're putting a, you've got a small bucket and you're filling up a boat that's got holes in it. You don't want to be operating like that. Identify what needs to get done, accept that you're busy and go and do it. And this is a side job for us as well. And we're giving it 100%. And this is a Saturday. Honestly, yeah. this is a Saturday. We're here on a Saturday. We normally do this on a Thursday night. We don't do this within our working hours. And I'm telling you now, we want to be as good as anyone else is on podcasts. We want to give people as much value as we can. We're giving it 150%. I know with Clayton and I, we love doing this. And that's living with purpose. That's putting everything aside that you've done all week and sitting here right now, going 100 miles an hour, giving 100% and knowing that our best is yet to come. It's, purpose is a big word and I want you guys to all embrace it. The tagline for the EHP Labs, uh, one of our main slogans is move with purpose. 
I'm, I was pretty proud of that oh, one. Okay. Came up with it myself. Did you? But yeah, there's a difference. I like that. Can I still we it? had this, it's like problem solving before. We had this slogan. I know we're slightly going over time. We're going to wrap it up. But we had this slogan that didn't work with me. So I didn't just accept it and say we're going to push this out. I said there's something better that's going to fit our brand and fit what we stand for. Move with purpose. Don't move and go through your life ticking boxes and just doing what you're going through the paces and going to the gym and doing an okay workout or going to work and doing your nine to five. Do things with purpose. Do what you believe in and do it well. That's it. Five minutes done. Beautiful. That's another fast five. What do you reckon? Mate, I'm looking forward to the next that was, fast that five. Was, that was a bit, pressure, a bit of pressure in that one. Was there pressure in that? There's no pressure running out of time. <laughs> uh, no, it's good, guys. Same thing as last week. I'm really enjoying these five minute ones. I like getting into and tackling these kind of different topics for you. So yeah. get at us on social media, Titan Muscle and Mind. Um, you can find us on Instagram, YouTube, and at the podcast that you're listening to right now. Drop us a comment anywhere and let us know what you want us to be talking about because we want to be providing information that's most relevant for you. 100%. We so really we want to build this, com- this community up. We know there's a lot of people out there that are like-minded and very similar to us. Um, and we want to connect and we want to grow together. So let us know what you guys need and we'll do our best to tackle it. And guys, just, just Clayton is absolutely killing it. His kids are natural. <laughs> <laughs> He's stroking my leg under the table too. <laughs> I'm giving them a wrap. You know, and that's, a, that's another thing. Don't get complacent. Do not get complacent. And when someone gives you a pat on the back, just keep moving and forward. And every podcast you do, make sure your phone's on silent. 100%, sorry. Nice final tip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you next time. Thanks, guys.